Hi, welcome to I'll Have Everything. I'm Michael. I'm Amanda. And I'm Ryan. And this week we'll have everything from Fat Straws. Yay! So Fat Straws are generally known for their drinks, uh, but we're going to dive in and have everything food-wise that they have on their menu. Uh, they currently are making mochi donuts, which is, or they call them chewy donuts. So we have 10 flavors today to try. So first up, we have the churro. Um, we've got cinnamon sugar on the outside. Nom. Pretty solid. It's very flavorful, sweet. I think it should be a little bit more cinnamony. So next you're eating the fruity pebbles, um, which Ryan told me would be really good. I did. I had it once just because me and my wife went to Fat Straws and then they only had this flavor left. So we were like, okay, we'll try this one. And then we were pleasantly surprised. This is quite good. This tastes just like a pretty pebble. It's got a great sweetness to it. Great crunch. Mm. Love it. I think if you're to do a cereal mochi donut, it should be cinnamon toast crunch because it's a superior no. cereal. Yes. No, just because you, just because cinnamon toast crunch is your favorite cereal, doesn't mean it's the best one to put on a donut. Yes, it does. So right. texture wise, I feel like the fruity pebbles make a better texture than what would the cinnamon toast crunch would be. That's Why? true. Cinnamon toast crunch, which is too, too dry. Hard. Yes, too hard, too dry. But I think I was hyped for it and the hype did not live up. Okay. Next we got the passion fruit. Are we gonna eat this icing side down? That's that's the only, the way to only eat. correct way to eat. Have this. you not been eating that icing side down? No. No, icing side down is the only way to eat it. You yeah. want to hit the flavor. Flavor explosion. Mm. Mm. This is so good. This is really good. That combination of the tart with the sweet, mm. incredible. Mm. That was good. It's so bright. Mm -hmm. So something I want to talk about real quick is the mochi donut texture. It's so different from your traditional donut. And I think it adds so much to this. Mm. That that extra chew um, just makes these things taste so much better. Yeah, even when you tear it apart, it looks like there's a stretch to the to the dough. Mm -hmm. Next. Next strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Pink and beautiful. Let's start eating this strawberry mochi donut. Mm. Okay, real talk. It's good. Yeah, it's what? very strawberry. It's very strawberry. This, no, this tastes so artificial to me. But it tastes like strawberry pocky strawberry. Yes. Yes. Like That's the also outside dip yes. of, yes. Yes. Versus like, I feel like when I've had this in the past, it just tastes like sugar. Next up, we have cookies and cream. So there's like a cream icing. There are crumbles of Oreo on it. It's quite good. Surprisingly not overly sweet for me. No, too sweet. It feels very well balanced. I like it. No. It's good. I love how, how, how fine the cookie crumble is. I also love how Amanda's commentary is just no. 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 It's, no. it's no. too it's too sweet. No. Like Next up we have the matcha. It's okay. Mm. So I've had both ways before where I felt like there was no matcha flavor at all. I felt like there was a ton of matcha flavor, which I prefer. This is kind of in between, where there's some matcha flavor, but I still want more. Yeah, I do think like they have improved upon the recipe because I feel like in the past, like when I had it the first couple of times, I felt really disappointed because it just was sweet and didn't, you know, it was like a hint of matcha. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I used air quotes, um, but <clears throat> I feel like the last <laughs> couple of times, like you can definitely get the matcha like when you eat it. It is weird that it's so, that's, there's so much variability to it. All right, up next we have, I think this is chocolate. It is yep. chocolate, the dark brown is chocolate. I don't, I don't usually like chocolate flavored things, I just like chocolate, the candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what's more like quintessential than like a chocolate donut, you know? That's fair. Chocolate flavors aren't my like, favorite, um, but I imagine if you like chocolate flavored things, chocolate flavored donuts, this is this would be quite enjoyable. I will like say, it. this is a good good chocolate donut. We get donuts all the time at work. Donuts are always touching the next donut, 
whenever you pull out a chocolate donut, the donut's icing's always like wet and it's all messed up from touching the next, next donut. But then this one, this chocolate donut, there's kind of like a shell almost to the chocolate icing and one was stacked on top of the other, but then you pulled it apart and then the icing was still perfectly fine. I did not like it. Next up, we got blueberry. I don't like blueberries because my mom used to make me eat them all the time growing up because of the antioxidants. And I just like feel like blueberries have no taste and they're just trash. Blueberries have no taste? Okay, it's one thing to say you don't like blueberries yeah. because you don't like their taste. It's another thing to say they have no taste. It just tastes like sugar. I agree with you. This is not particularly great. The blueberry flavor is not really present. This isn't it, great. Yeah. So in that sense, yes, this does kind of just taste like sugar. But to say blueberries don't have a taste is just wrong. You guys are mean. Next up, we have the black sesame. This is my favorite. Bunch of toasted black sesame is on mine. This flavor is so strong. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> if you like black sesame, it doesn't get better than this. Mm -hmm. mm. It's, it's like... They put a lot of black sesame in this thing. Mm -hmm. Into like the icing. This it's toasted really too. Yep. And like it's balanced a little with a bit of Oh my god. <laughs> Saltiness. Ryan's having a moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. Alright, so the last one we have here is coffee. Ooh. I'm so excited. It's so good. That's incredible. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Like an espresso flavor. Espresso flavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda, what are your top three favorites? Number one is definitely the black sesame. Um, I just already love black sesame as a flavor, um, and they do it excellently. And then secondly, I would put coffee. And then third, um passion fruit. It was like very tangy, um, citrusy. I just quite enjoyed it. Ryan, what you got? I'm gonna copycat and go exactly the same. Black sesame, I mean, hands down, that's number one. If your number one is different from that, then you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how we talked about matcha being like inconsistent, like some days it's really strong, some days it's okay. Black sesame is always like they pack in that black sesame. Number two, I mean, uh, coffee, same thing. And for the exact same reason. Yeah. It's always consistently very strong coffee flavor. It's like a really good balance of bitterness and sweet. And then passion fruit, man, what a bright, sweet, tart flavor. It's delicious. Sorry, what do you think, much. Michael? All right, top three for me. Uh, number one, the, the passion fruit. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> number Wrong. two, espresso. Wrong. Okay, whoa. And number three, the black sesame. No. Wrong. Next, what is the most surprising item you had here today, Amanda? This strawberry. Because all the other times I've had it, it was like just sugar. And this time it tasted like strawberry pocky, which was pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan, what about you? Fruity pebbles. Yeah. This is my first time having a 3D Pebble Donut and being like, oh, I actually like that. Uh, for me, the most surprising item, Black Sesame. Like, the way they're able to pack so much flavor into that donut. Thanks for joining us this week where we tried all the mochi donuts from Fat Straws. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Fat Straws. <laughs> fat, 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 fat Straws.